Aloha and a great morning indeed and welcome back to Good Morning Sri Lanka on another sunny bright morning. It's the 6th of August 2013 and we have a really really good topic just as usual to talk about and exciting isn't the right word to use it it's much much more than that use a multiple ripple effect on it that's a word that you can get am i good morning all right Van, good morning to you as well and that was an amazing introduction there and it is true we have here with us in the studio two legendary names in sri lankan uh, theater circles and um, they have been inspired by one generation of thespians and now they've also gone on to motivating the next generation. So they are two people who, have, uh, who are straddling the line between the past and the future and we have them here with us in the studio today. So without further suspense, I'm going to introduce our audience to them. We have with us Shanuki Dialwis, who is the assistant artistic director at the workshop players and she's an actress herself of course but as her day job she is also the strategic planning manager and the creative group head of TBWA. So good morning Shanuki welcome to the good show. Good morning and that was an int interesting <laughs> introduction I'm not sure about me being legendary but the, <laughs> the other person on, Well on the way to becoming legends then at least mm. and of course we have Mr. Muhammad Adam Ali now he is a lawyer by profession as well as being an entrepreneur and a marketing lecturer but again I think he's well known in Colombo art circles as a great actor stage play producer as well as director so good morning welcome to the show it's great to have you on the show Adam. Good morning Amaya lovely to be here of course and getting right down to what you both of you do which is in common of course we are not speaking about uh, strategic planning and <laughs> uh, being a lawyer of course we're talking about theatre and the love you have for theatre and the work you have done. So tell us about how you started out and what really took you to this uh, point where you are now in your lives. You want to go first? Uh, I don't uh, before go for it. It. Ladies <laughs> first, <Shanti. laughs> what about you? Yeah. Right. Um, I started a long time after Adam started. One way of putting it. <laughs> um, I was actually, I think I was born to be a performer on and off stage. You can ask anyone who knows <laughs> me, especially my family. I'm given to my histrionics. Uh, and I, I think I had a lot of energy and a lot of flair for drama mm -hmm. as a child. And my mother made the very right decision to introduce me to speech and drama and stage. And I suppose I was hooked onto it. And so that was way back when you were in kindergarten. That was way yeah? back in kindergarten. I played the role of a bouncing ball in okay. the toy <laughs> shop. So and I'm, I'm playing that role now, now on a daily basis. I know Adam wants to say it, but he won't. He's too much of a gentleman, so I'll say it for him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you started bouncing from that point of view? I started yeah. bouncing from that point <laughs> onwards, yes. Very nice. And moving on to you, Adam. Now, you started off drama in um, Kerry College, where you were till the grade 5 scholarship exam, or did Actually, you start off in Royal College? At Royal, drama yeah. Papa at Royal. The first mm -hmm. year I joined Royal, I was in grade 6, and uh, mm -hmm. we had a school play at that time. Uh, it was all my sons, Arthur Millers, mm -hmm. and I had to play this little guy who had to come in and, and jump on my neighbor's back and I remember his back being huge. <laughs> uh, he was uh, also a, a very well-known theatre personality at that time, uh, mm -hmm. Arjuna Mahendran. And uh, uh, his back doesn't look so huge anymore, I must <laughs> say. <laughs> But it was but bigger actually that when time you were 11 uh, years old, yeah. it would have looked uh, pretty big. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, it was an interesting start yes. to theatre. But uh, yeah, a bit of speech and drama mm -hmm. had the advantage of uh, having worked with uh, Auntie Irene Vanigaratna. I think mm -hmm. Shanaki think had the same had experience with her. Oh, and, uh, that's a, a fairly firm footing mm -hmm. to start with, I think. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's been a great ride. Shanak, apart from the uh, family support that you mentioned, what are the other inspirational quotes that you actually got during your childhood? What inspired you to become the person that you are today? The person or the actress? <laughs> Every, ev uh, everything and everyone. <laughs> you know. uh, lots of things inspire me actually mm -hmm. in life. There's no one thing and if I start on that now, this show is <laughs> going to go on a very different <laughs> topic. <laughs> so I'll talk about acting. Okay. Um, I think uh, a lot of uh, personally, uh, lot of the appeal of getting up on stage and acting comes from the fact that I'm always trying to escape reality <laughs> in some form or manner. 
So it's very nice when you have that medium to mm -hmm. put yourself into a completely different world and get lost in it, uh, which is addictive. I mean, that's that's my intoxication, if there's such a word. Okay. Uh, in terms of inspiration, there have been fabulous, fabulous, legendary performers on stage who have mentored you, uh, mentored me, and mm -hmm. inspired me. Auntie Irene is one of them, uh, as Adam mentioned, because if it, if it wasn't for her, I would not have had the classical training mm -hmm. that I do. And that, that background actually has made me the person I am on stage. I don't think I'd be anywhere without her. And the other person, of course, is Jerome De Silva, who I work with very closely in the, the workshop, workshop players, place. because he's given me the opportunity to do a lot more than I ever thought I possibly mm -hmm. could and ever would. So he's opened up that door for me, as he does for a lot of young people in, in this country. And watching him on stage whether it's directing or whether it's acting or uh, whether it's just being the visionary that he is is inspirational because there's there's very few people who can do what jerome does mm -hmm. and then of course there is the adams and <laughs> the nidras and jehans and uh, there's the jehan Aloysius's and tracy hall singers mm -hmm. and all, all these people who have sort of gone beyond just getting up on stage and performing and actually added to this industry and mm -hmm. created the magic that is the English theatre industry. All of those people in their, in their own ways are inspirational to watch and to learn from. Of course. And Adam, yeah. we've heard this rumour that while you were in school, you were saddled with most of the female roles in yes, the plays. So tell, uh, tell us about <laughs> what that experience was like. <laughs> well, uh, I've, I've played in Othello three times. Mm -hmm. First time was Desdemona. Oh. Only I was taller than the Othello at the Shakespeare Drama Comp, so I couldn't really get off the bed because I just <laughs> towered over Othello. Uh, but that was an interesting start and the only experience I had at the Shakespeare Drama Comp as, as an actor because we took part just the one year. Oh, I see. Uh, and that year, Royal won, we broke the uh, Thomian hoodoo. Uh, <laughs> uh, they had been winning nine years in a row, I think. Um, uh, and then, of course, the same play several times later in male characters. But yes, I played Portia as well in school mm -hmm. in Interhouse. Um, uh, yeah, being, you know. Uh, but you were glad to get rid of that once you got out of school, is yep. it? <laughs> Waiting to crack my voice, and as soon as that <laughs> happened, I got to play the male roles. Male roles. <laughs> And do you find, as Shanaka said, do you find theatre a release as well? And you yes. are a lawyer by profession, but what is theatre to you and what has yeah. it opened up for you? Well, from different uh, positions in the theatre, the perspective is different. Uh, as an actor, I agree fully with what Shanaka says. It uh, gives us a chance, I think, to play or become someone that you can never be or you aren't. Mm -hmm. And I find that the biggest thrill about this. And so getting into that person's life and playing a character that, you know, for a couple of hours in the <laughs> evening of, uh, of something you could never be otherwise mm -hmm. is quite an amazing experience. It just transports you out of, uh, you know, every reality. other thing, activity that you're in, mm -hmm. reality. Uh, it's really a reality within a, a different sphere of reality and uh, that's what makes it uh, really interesting. Mm -hmm. um, but quite apart from that, you know, from a production perspective, it helps you create uh, a, a bit of magic. It uh, helps you leave a message, share a message that you want to with people. Mm -hmm. um, it's a great family and team to belong to. It's a group of equally passionate people, especially I think in our country where theatre all tends to be more amateur than professional in terms of actually making a living from it. And mm -hmm. so we find that uh, everyone's equally motivated, equally committed, equally passionate about what they're doing and that's uh, again a fabulous feeling to, to have in a work environment. Adam, your father was uh, one of the most influential people in your life, right? And after his son demise, how did that affect your passion for the work that you do? Well, I had a very supportive family, especially with regard to theatre. Mm -hmm. um, even though my dad and mom had never been in the theatre, in, in, involved in the theatre in any way, they had pushed us uh, forward all the time. My two sisters were both elder to me, before me, 
uh, were both involved with school theatre, uh, in the school Shakespeare, etc. Mm -hmm. And we still come together as a family more when we are doing a theatre production of our own through the performing arts company than when, than otherwise. You know, when mm -hmm. we are doing a production, elder sister directs. Um, I produce. My wife is involved also mm -hmm. as producer with me. My second sister handles a lot of the costume area. And Family the production. Set. <laughs> yeah, so we actually sometimes we, we ask ourselves the question, are we really doing this play because we want to spend a little more time <laughs> together uh, as a family unit rather than really, you know, for the sake of the play because it, it works really well both ways and our children are also involved and so it really brings uh, that group together. Uh, yes, but to answer your question, he was uh, an influence. Uh, albeit for a shorter while, mm -hmm. uh, he passed on when I was very young, I was 16, but uh, in that short time he had, uh, I think, instilled enough of, a, of an influence in me. He used to drop me off at the Shakespeare drama comp <laughs> when I was 10. He used to get leave from me from school and drop me off there at 10 and come and pick me up at 5. And I had to watch all those productions that I really didn't understand much about. So at that time, it was great fun waiting for the sword fight, you know, or for And I think we have to interrupt you there, Adam. I'm so yeah. sorry, but we have to we go for our first yeah. commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll be right back on the show, and we'll speak to them about some of the work that they have done and the plays they've been involved with. So do stay with us right on Good Morning Sri Lanka.